Well, this week is National Public Health Week. Do you know the role that public health plays in our community? Well, if you don't, you're not alone because a lot of what they do happens behind the scenes unless, unfortunately, there's a crisis. Mm -hmm. Then they're the first people we're calling. But this week, Public Health Madison in Dane County is releasing a series of new videos. And Diane McHugh is a public health nurse and immunization coordinator with Public Health Madison in Dane County. Welcome. Diane, nice to see you. Thanks Thank for being you. with us today. Tell us a little bit about this video campaign. Is this sort of a, a getting to know you kind of a thing, letting people know the kinds of work that yeah, you do? Yeah, we've never done this, I believe. And it was a way to highlight the efforts of public health because most of it is behind the scenes and not known what's going on every day to mm -hmm. protect the community's health. And what was the impetus? Did people, was it just the information campaign? Um, I think so. I think, you know, people needed to understand better what you get for your tax dollars. You know, we're supported by the government and it goes on all the time behind the scenes and you don't see it. And we've seen some of the videos on the screen. Now, this, oh. is, the, this is yours. This is the immunization. Yeah. You're an yeah. immunization coordinator. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you do and what your goals are. Okay. Um, well, we Public Health at Madison Dane County does provide immunization clinics, but we also um, facilitate the Dane County Immunization Coalition, and we work together to highlight the importance of immunizations and so that we can increase the rates of immunizations in Dane County to prevent disease and keep everyone healthy. What do you do about parents who don't believe in immunizations? Well, we try to get a conversation going, but number one is people need to understand why it's so important. Um, just because you don't see the diseases doesn't mean they are not around. And when you think of the amount of travel that goes on as well, kids can get exposed and adults wherever you go. So it's important to always keep high levels of immunizations so that everyone's protected. Those who are um, protecting themselves, but then they're also protecting everyone around them because not everybody can be immunized. Well, there are a lot of fears, though, yeah. and a lot of... Um... I don't know, fear of the unknown maybe. Do you do you see that? Do people ask you a lot of questions about that or do you think some of those fears are being mitigated now? Well, I think there's always fear and especially if you're not seeing a disease to fight against, you know, sometimes people are become more aware of the concerns of the vaccines. And so our goal is to educate people to understand why it's important, why everybody needs to be immunized and where you can go for good information like the CDC or your healthcare provider. Um, some of these blogs are very frightening that are spreading a lot of rumors and stories that are that are false mm -hmm. and not telling the truth of why immunizations are important and safe. They are very safe. How do you reach out to those people though that that are falling through the cracks? Mm -hmm. Well, we do. We are able to run rates of immunizations, find out what um, areas are, are low, what immunizations have low rates, and so we sometimes send out reminders. We send out. 20,000 reminder letters just recently really? to adults to let them know they need a pneumococcal vaccine and we send to infants um, that are behind on their shots we send out reminders and public providers um, in the medical clinics they also send out reminders and try to schedule their clients in because they know how important so, and it the is. doctors report to you after let's say I get a shot from my, my private doctor yeah. they let you know no no um, there's the Wisconsin immunization registry which is an online um, storage of immunization data and it tell, it's like an, a medical record, but it's for the state of Wisconsin so that immunizations are kept there. And so if they come to public health and get shots there and then they go to their doctor, the doctor can see that they got shots here. So it's a way to keep records safe and secure, but then communicate to other providers what's happened. And then clients can find out the information on their own as well. Well, check out all the videos online. They're very informative. And a lot of information I didn't know as well. So yeah, a lot to learn on Public Health Week. Diane, thank and you for being here. You. Great to see you. Yeah, thank you for inviting us.